I've been like obsessed with ciabatta bread. <laughs> the square one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, I'm Lauren. And I'm Amanda. And today we are going over all of the books we want to read in April. I had a really good reading month last month. So hopefully I can keep up with it and have a good month this month as well. I had an awful reading month last month and to be honest this upcoming month april is going to be so busy for me school wise it's my last full month of school so i have the bulk of like my projects so exciting though no i'm over it but i have like all my projects and presentations coming up so i don't know how much reading i'm going to get done but i do have a stack of ones that i know are like my top priority last night i had the best idea ever to go through my entire physical tbr and count each and every book i should not have done that right? and then i told you my number and you went and counted yours which made me feel a lot better about my number if my physical tbr is in the three digits I have no business adding more books to my collection without reading them first. I think a goal for us, we need to read like 10 books on our physical TBR before we buy any mm -hmm. more. And even when we do buy more, it needs to be three. Yeah, like limit ourselves like three or four books. Yeah. So a lot of the ones that we picked are ones that we have had on our physical TBR for a while. We just want to get through them. Yes. Last month, we did have our very first buddy reading vlog. We want to do a buddy reading vlog every single month. This month, we are deciding between Project Hail Mary and Ace of Spades. So if you would like to vote on which book we should buddy read this month we actually have a poll live on our instagram right now so that'll be up for 24 hours and whichever book wins will be the one we do our vlog on i think i want to read a little life this month a lot of you guys are warning me saying that it is very sad i think my plan for this will be to read this throughout the entire month you know not necessarily trying to just finish it all face it out and read some happy books while also reading this one just because i don't know yeah how i'm gonna handle that i think that's a good plan yeah i don't know anything about it i just know that it's right. super sad it has a lot of serious topics in there, which I don't mind. I have no interest in reading that book. <laughs> Everything I've heard about it, I'm like, yeah, I just, it seems so sad and heartbreaking that I just don't even think I can do it. I'm ready. So I did just get this one in our most recent Barnes & Noble vlog, but it definitely has been one that's been on my TBR for a long time. I always hear such great things, but mm -hmm. also like, I hope you can handle it. Right. So the first two books on my April TBR are the rest of the An Ember in the Ashes series. I have the last two left, A Reaper at the Gates and A Sky Beyond the Storm. I have really been loving this series so far, and I feel like these two books I would prioritize mm -hmm. just because I'm well into the story and it's my most recent read. Yeah. So I think I want to continue on with them. These ones will probably be the most action-packed too. I think so, yeah. The first two was just a lot about the world building, getting to know the characters in the story. So I'm sure this is where the bulk of the action happens. So I'm so excited to see how the story ends. Okay, so I think I'm ready to read Daisy Jones and the Six. You guys know I love Miss Taylor Jenkins read. I've been waiting to read another book of hers. Actually, this was on my TBR from last mm -hmm. month and I didn't get to it. That's okay, I'll get to it this <laughs> month. I definitely want to listen to the audiobook while I read this just because everyone has said how great of an audiobook it is. I know the story is about a really popular band in the 60s and their story is told in like an interview style explaining how they came to be and how they broke up and different things going on. I really did love The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's probably one of my most favorite books so I have a really high hopes for this one. The next one I have is The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. This is one of the many <laughs> mystery thrillers that I have in my physical TBR so I feel like out of all of them just because because this one's the thinnest I would be oh. able to read. Honestly, I'm trying to be realistic. Yeah. <laughs> I do have some really thick books in this stack and I feel like this one will be like a quick, easy read, I'm hoping. I am excited for this one. I have seen it a lot on Bookstagram and Book Talk. and if I just look in the inside flap, it says, with its breakneck pacing, dizzying plot twists, and evocative family drama, last thing he told me is a riveting mystery certain to shock you with its final heartbreaking turn. So it sounds so interesting, very much like a family drama 
uh, with twists and turns. So I am super excited. Let me know if you have read this one. I know it's been out for a while. I haven't had the best track record with mystery thrillers. I always find that they're really slow and a lot of times predictable. So I'm hoping this one is not any of those things. Okay, so I really want to read Exodus by Kate Stewart. We both did just read Flock and we did a entire buddy reading vlog for that one. I'm excited. I'm ready to see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You guys have all told us how crazy it gets and to keep reading. So I just had to include it in this month's TBR. The story was so well done. So good. And I hope we get a lot of answers in this one. So the next book I have picked out is Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. You guys know how we feel about Miss Colleen. She never disappoints. And even though I have heard mixed reviews about this book, I read the synopsis and I am interested. I think it's more of a family dynamic and less of a romance, but kind of a family mystery, different secrets and things that are hidden. So I feel like that sounds really interesting. And it's time I got through my Colleen Hoover books. I have a huge stack behind me of ones that I have yet to read. So I'm hoping this one is going to be good. I'm excited to see what you think because I have heard a lot of yeah. mixed reviews. I'm wondering if it's just because they think it's going to be a romance and probably, it's not. Probably. This is another one that let me know if you've read it and your thoughts because I am interested to see what everyone thinks of it. So the next book I want to read is one that I got when we went book thrifting. It is The Selection. I think I'm ready to start the series. I don't know a whole lot about it. Yeah. Were you the one who told me it was kind of like The Bachelor but with like the girls and... No. Somebody told me just like that whole competing thing. Right. And that was really all that I needed to know. I think that's why I didn't want to read it. Ah! <laughs> That's what I heard and I was like, oh. <laughs> For 35 girls, the selection is the chance of a lifetime to live in a palace and compete for the heart of a gorgeous Prince Maxon. Hmm, interesting. It is literally The Bachelor. I'm sure you'll love it then. Yeah. Ooh, that would be good for I'm you. I'm excited. Okay. So the next one I'm going to talk about, I also got in that thrifting video. It is City of Bones, the first in the Mortal Instruments series. I feel like it's finally time that I start this series. This is just a classic. Yeah. in fantasy like everyone has read it it was the blueprint everyone read it in like middle school it's just time I experienced this story I know that there was some movie adaptations and I think they flopped I remember liking it when I was younger because I think Lily Collins was in it and was I love she? her yes no. so I'm just so interested I know that I initially liked the story when I was younger and if I liked the movie I'm sure I'm gonna like the book I ended up getting the first five in the series I think there's one more that goes with this one and then there's more spin-offs and stuff I'm so excited to start Cassandra Clare's writing. I've heard great things. It's time. It needs to be done. And I do have high hopes. I definitely want to read No Exit by Taylor Adams. This was one that I talked about in my birthday vlog, part of the birthday book haul. A lot of you guys said you loved it. So I'm really excited to read it. I know I want to read it and then watch the Hulu movie. Lauren does not want to buddy read it with me. So I'm going to go solo <laughs> and read it by myself. Another mystery thriller that I want to read Read. just reading a little bit from the back 13 hours four strangers one missing child no exit she knows her odds she'll fight anyway I feel like a lot of times mystery thrillers are either a hit or miss for mm -hmm. me so hopefully I don't see anything coming with this one and I love it the next one I have is the crown of gilded bones by Jennifer L Armentrout the next one in the from blood and ash series the war of two queens just came out this past month I believe and initially I thought I was gonna have this one read already so I can just get into the new release but I have not read it yet I think I pre-ordered it mm -hmm. it got pushed to May oh. so it's given me a little time to yeah. get this one read. I just feel like I'm behind on this series. Initially when I read the first book, did not love the ending. You guys saw my reaction. Then I thought the second one redeemed the story for me. So I'm excited to see if I like this one. Excited to see where the story goes. This is actually a story that I constantly think about. As I'm reading other fantasy books and things like that, I'm always comparing it to this one for some reason. That's good. But that just means like you love that. But I don't know if I do. Oh. It's just one that definitely sticks into your head. Mm. I'm constantly thinking about Poppy and Castile, even though I don't know if I love the story. That's weird. I'm ready to know what happens. So I do want to read The Legacy by L. Kennedy. I did just finish the Briar U series. It's time to wrap it all up and say goodbye. It is so sad just because I feel like I'm saying goodbye to all of my friends, my only friends. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about mm -hmm. this. Some say there's not enough closure. I feel like I would say that no matter what though, just because yeah. I don't want to say goodbye. So I'm hoping that's what people are saying, why people are upset just because it's like over. So it is going to be very sad for me, but that is what I wanted. I wanted to finally finish a series mm -hmm. that's on my shelf so that I can buy more. <laughs> <laughs> so following that I am trying to work my way through a series as well the addicted slash Callaway sister series and the next one I have is addicted after all which is the last one in the addicted series so it's the last one in Lily and Lowe's perspective which is crazy I'm kind of ready to get through it though <laughs> Because, as you guys know, if you watched our wrap-up, Thrive put me into a bit of a slump. Because it was recapping everything that happened in the two books prior to it. I'm ready to kind of just read this and see where the story picks up. I feel like the characters have come a really long way, especially Lily and Lo. You follow them through their addictions and recovery and them just trying to rebuild and navigate their way through this relationship. I'm so excited to see this one and how it all just kind of starts coming to a close. They've just grown so much and I feel like... I, I've been a part of it in seeing them through this development so I'm excited for it since I'm going to finish the legacy I will probably get right back into the addicted slash Callaway <laughs> sister series and start to kiss the sky this is the first one in the Callaway sister series which I am so excited for because you've introduced us <laughs> to these other girls and now I'm like okay I need to know about them right so right. I'm excited to know about Rose and Connor and see how they're relationship is okay so that is going to be it for today's video hopefully we can read a good amount of these books and stick with our tbrs comment down below and let us know what book you are most excited to read in the month of april don't forget that our poll is live already on which book we're going to buddy read this month so if you want to vote go ahead and head to our instagram link in the bio as always and we do put out videos every wednesday and friday so if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye so i do want to read the legacy by l kennedy i did just finish the off-campus series oh i meant to say Brian. i know just say and briar you though and we could put it okay so i do want to read the legacy by l kennedy i did just finish the off-campus series <laughs> and the briar you series so i do want to read the legacy by l kelly <laughs> because it was recapping everything that happened in the prior mm -hmm.